how to tie a tie. So wearing a tie every time we wear suits nowadays is not as common as it used to be way back in the day. However, there are still a few important scenarios that you'll find yourself in where you absolutely need to be wearing your tie with your suit. Whether you're suiting up for a formal event or out there dressing to impress, mastering the art of tying the perfect tie is essential. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to tie the perfect full Windsor tie knot with the perfect dimple, as well as the perfect length every single time. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Essential Style. All right, let's undo the tie. And now we just have our tie right here. No tie knot. This would be as if you just pulled it out of your closet, pulled it out of your dresser drawer. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you unbutton at least the top button. I have the second button unbuttoned for some reason. I always like to pop the collar like that. Not a big fan of wearing collars like this on my shirt popped, but this is going to make it a lot easier to tie the tie. Now, if you take your suit jacket off, this is gonna be easier. I don't have a problem leaving the suit jacket on, so I'm just gonna leave it on for this one. Now on the tie, you're gonna have this thicker piece right here. This is the piece that's actually going to be showing, and this is the piece that's gonna be in front of this piece. This is gonna be the piece that you use to tighten and loosen the tie around your neck. So for me, my dominant hand is my right hand, so that piece that's gonna show is going to be on my right side. If you are left-handed, you're gonna to wanna to put the big piece on your left side. Now here's one mistake I used to make. I get done tying my tie, but my tie was actually inside out. When you're getting ready to tie that knot, make sure that it is facing right side out. It's not inside out. Now you're gonna to wanna to make the big part considerably longer than the small part. You are not going to be using this narrow part to tie the actual knot. You're gonna be using the big part. That's a mistake that I've made. You're gonna take the big part. You're going to put it over the narrow part, just like that just like that. Now, first step, you're going to just take it, simple. You're just gonna loop it around like that. Let me do that one more time so you can see. I have a tendency to go pretty fast when I know how to do something. You're taking it, crossing it, up and over. Nice and smooth. Now this next part is crucial as well. You're going to go behind, behind the actual tie itself right? I used to go the other way and then my tie again would be inside out. Now, what you're going to do, see right there? You're going to take this piece now and put it through the top, through the top. See, this is what we have so far. This is what we have so far. Let's play that back again so you know. You got your long piece or you got your big piece, you got your short narrow piece. Long piece goes over the short piece. You're going to take it, you're going to put it up through here. You're left with this. Then you're gonna put it behind, behind over here. And then you're gonna take the big piece and put it through the top. That way you're left like this. At this point, you should be left. This point you should be left right here. This is what you should be seeing right here. If you don't see this, definitely go through it again. Wanna go through it again? Sure, no problem, let's do it. Big long piece, over, small long piece. Wrap it up and into the small piece, you're left like that. That small piece, now you can slide up and down. This is the slider. Big long piece goes behind the tie knot. Now you're right here, that's all we're doing. Now we're taking the big long piece, putting it up through here. There we go, there's the second time. Now, the next step, we're taking this big piece and putting it across here. You could probably start to see the tie is starting to form. Can you guess what we're gonna do next? From here, we're gonna, it's over to my left. I don't know if it's your left on the screen. Put it to my left. It's, we're going to take it and we're going to put it up through the knot. Now, this is pretty crucial right now. Now we gotta make sure that the length is good. Let's see. Let's try to simulate. We could actually now, yeah, we can start sliding it up and down. Let's go ahead and slide it and let's see. Is that too long? Is that too short? You tell me. Looks like it's too short. I've got a solid inch before my belt line. So I've got to go ahead and start over. I'm now actually going to elongate it, right? Because I, I always, I always, the first time I do this, I always get it short, but that's okay because I know how to do this knot. And you will too after watching this video. I usually like to go from here to here. I, I don't know, what is that, a couple of inches? I just, that's what I always do. Now we're gonna take it. Step one, tie, to, tie the big piece around the small piece. Step two, Put it behind the whole knot. Step three, up through right there. There we go. 
There we go. Get my hands out of the way so you can see. Step four, put it in front. Put it in front, off to the left. Step five, up and through the top. Now let's see. It's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. I still want to go. I still want to go a little bit longer though. So it's here. I just want to go right there. Third time to charm, right? Step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. And step five. Looks like we're going to get it right this time. Okay, so right now, if I take the tie and lift it, you can see that there's a tie knot right there. Can you see that? Can you see that? See? Nice triangular tie knot. Now, this is the part we're actually going to complete the knot. We're taking the big part. We're loosening this tie knot right here. See how I have my finger through? We're placing the tie, the big part, through there. And this is what's going to complete the knot. Check it. Go ahead and a little long, but in my opinion, it's always better to go long than short. Now at this point, we're going to put it all the way up there. We're not going to go all the way. We're not going to go super tight because remember, we left the top button unbuttoned and our collar is still popped. We're going to place our collar down. This is hard to do with a suit jacket. Collar is all folded. Now what we're going to do, now we can button that top button. Right? Button the top button right here. Cool. Nice and comfortable. Dress shirt. I can fit two, almost three fingers in. Nice and comfortable as I almost lose my balance. Now we could actually go ahead and tighten that tie knot. And overall we could see how it looks. I'm using the mirror. I'm, I don't have a mirror. I'm using a little tiny, tiny, tiny phone screen. Not a phone screen. Tiny camera screen as a mirror. And you're crooked, but whatever. All right. Now let's see. Now we're not done yet. You can see it just about touches our belt right here. It's always better to go longer than shorter. A shorter tie can make you look more chunky and just short, shorter in general. A longer tie can actually make you look a little bit taller and leaner. You don't want it to be like all the way down here, but just brazing or coming over your belt, that's always a safe way to go. Continue to perfect this tie knot. Now, overall, this doesn't look too bad, right? But this next part is going to be what sets you apart from a lot of other people that are out there tying ties. So let's see. What we want to do now, we're going to loosen the tie a bit and we have to create that dimple. So what I like to do, I like to just stick my finger right there. And what you're basically doing is you're going like this. Just going like this up in the tie and you're taking the part right here and you're just pulling it tight and it should create the dimple no problem. And now you have to, now the tie knot is tighter, now we have to just move it back and forth to tie it. Go ahead and make sure that that dimple is centered and we're all good. Good. All right. Now I don't love the way that this is curved, so I'm just going to fix this a bit. I like more of an angular look big, broad, angular look on my, on my dress shirt. So overall, this looks pretty good. I am satisfied with this. Final step is going to be, we don't want the small adjuster piece to be flapping in the wind. Most ties are going to have a area right here that you can just slide the back into. So we're just going to do that. And then we are good. So taking a look at the length. The length is a little bit longer than I'd like. I typically like it to just hit right in the middle. It's okay to actually have it be a little bit long. You don't want it to be like two inches longer than your belt. It's just going to look weird. It, the tie is going to actually look too big for you at that point. So length is good. It's okay to be a little bit longer and a little bit shorter. Now when wearing a suit and tie like this together, you should always be buttoning that suit jacket. Unless you're actually going to go ahead and sit down, at this point you do want to unbutton that suit jacket just because it's going to be a little bit easier and it's just going to flow better. Anyone watch the TV show Suits that's on Netflix? Pay attention to Harvey Specter and other people wearing suits in that show. Every time they stand up, they button their suit jacket. Every time they sit down, they unbutton their suit jacket and there you go. 
One exception to that is, if you know that show, Lewis. Lewis, every time he stands up, he buttons his suit, but then he sits down, and then he's always sitting there, and his suit jacket goes crazy like this. This is not something you're gonna wanna do, because then look, the tie is actually also going to just look all wavy and not good. So a little bit of suit etiquette, unbutton your suit when you're sitting down. It's okay to unbutton your suit as you're walking, maybe if you're walking briskly like that. I don't know why you'd be doing that in a suit. But as you're walking around, this is totally okay. But as much as you can, you are going to want to be buttoning your suit jacket. Now, a couple of other tips for when wearing a tie. You don't want it to get so loose, or you don't want to wear it loose enough to the point where you could actually see the top button of your dress shirt. This is going to look sloppy. This is not what you should be doing. Something else you shouldn't be doing is if it's after work and you want to relax, you should not be unbuttoning your shirt and loosening your tie like this. At this point, if you want to go super casual, just take the tie off, no problem, and then just wear your shirt open like this. And you should always be taking the tie off and storing it like this. Don't just take the tie off and throw it in your bag all crazy and don't leave that tie knot. You should always be undoing the tie knot when you're storing your ties. And then you should be retying the tie knot when you wear the tie next. But retying the tie knot for you at this point should be no issue since you've watched this video and you are now an expert at tying the perfect tie knot. So ties, we're not wearing them as much as we used to way back in my day, but when we do need to wear them, those are usually very important crucial events like important formal events, job interviews, weddings, and anything super important like that. So that's gonna do it for this one. Hope it helped, hope you had fun, and I hope you learned something. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you found this video helpful. Appreciate you stopping by, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.